Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel at this time. I do appreciate you. Let's see what's going on at this time, y'all. Let's see what the messages are. I'm just really picking up on this karmic couple who is just obsessed with the divine feminine, y'all. It's crazy. They're obsessed with the divine feminine high priestess energy. Obsessed. These people be riding by her house. They be throwing magic at her house. They be put putting her picture and giving and putting it like in jars, doing all kind of crazy spells and root work root, root work against this woman. It's a couple. It's a karmic couple who's doing this to a woman. And it's just amazing to me how this couple is so fixated on this woman and y'all is really giving something like this divine feminine did not want to be a third party to this karmic couple. She did not want to swing and be, you know, doing threesomes and engaging with this masculine and this karmic that he committed to. He wanted his divine feminine to be some swing inside piece bust down to him and his karmic partner. Okay, this motherfucker crazy, but she ain't going to be no third party to no karmic. She ain't going to be in no threesomes and do no swinging and let this karmic lick on her or whatever it is that this karmic couple wanted to do to her. That's what I just picked up. And because this woman don't want to play with these, this karmic couple, this karmic couple has been terrorizing her. This karmic couple has been trying to hurt this woman, literally. Like, they are so offended that she don't want to be their little side piece. It's crazy. This woman has offended these people to the point that they are now trying to spiritually attack her, cause problems for her on the physical realm as well. And also what I just heard is the reason why they wanted her to be their little third party is because she got that good energy, okay? She the divine feminine with the good energy as well as that good gooch, okay? So it, it, it was multiple reasons why they wanted to have a partnership with this woman. It's multiple reasons why they wanted her to be in this third party connection. And they are heartbroken because this woman do not want to be in a little swingers group. With this Hierophant energy, this group think mindset that they have about her and what her purpose is, she's not fulfilling that purpose, okay? And I'm telling you, they were going to sacrifice her as well, okay? Yeah, they wanted to have sex with her, but they also wanted to sacrifice her for her energy. And they probably were going to take this energy back to another group. Because these two, this karmic couple out here operating as some type of group in themselves, partners in crime here. But I feel like this karmic couple belongs to a another group, a, they're another organization. And they needed somebody like this divine feminine to pull from. But this divine feminine didn't know she was a divine feminine when these people were initially propositioning her, okay? They are in regret, honey, that they could not get this woman to celebrate with them. I'm telling you, that's how they wanted her to come in initially. As some type of third party that they could freak on, okay? But again, that sexual connection was how they were going to sacrifice her and pull from her energetically to have what they needed for this Hierophant group they belonged to. They was going to get her to come back to their house, this divine feminine, and they were going to drain her. That's what they wanted to do with this woman. They wanted to hook up with her, but she didn't want to hook up with them like that. Now, keep in mind that this Nine of Pentacles was in some sort of partnership with this masculine that's a part of this karmic couple. 
And she ate of cups, whatever the connection was that she had going on with him. This is not just no random woman that did, this couple met that they wanted to hook up with and have a threesome with. This Nine of Pentacles was dealing with this karmic masculine. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Okay. Five of Pentacles. She was in a low vibrational connection with this karmic masculine. He a karmic too. And she ate of cups, that partnership, that whatever they had going on, she ate of cups to it. Okay? But this man was struggling. Possibly a king of wands. Sagittarius. He may have Sagittarius somewhere prominent in his chart. That man was struggling without this divine feminine with the good energy. Okay? And he had to figure out how he could balance his situation in a way where he could still take part in her, but be the ideal counterpart for another woman. This other karmic energy that I'm picking up on. His karmic feminine. So, you know, they, they was figuring out how they going to get her. How, he was trying to figure out how am I going to get this divine feminine to agree to be a third party to me and a karmic. Ten of Wands. But he can't get his divine feminine to agree to be no third party to him and no karmic. She is at the Ten of Wands with this connection. The Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Disappointed in how it played out. Ashamed of how this King of Wands treated her, I'm hearing. This is divine feminine. How dare you? proposition a woman like this to be your side hoe to let your karmic partner play around with her sexually while you play around with her as well like what that's why this nine of pentacles is in the ten of wands and the three of swords that's very disappointing to know somebody that at one point who you were partnering with want to try to play you like you the side piece Want to try to put you in some type of slut bucket position in his life to another woman. Like, that's weird that the connection had a turning point like it did. But I'm telling you, it's because he wanted to be with this other woman. She could be a Leo. Okay. I don't know why this Leo energy been popping out so prominently. But I'm picking up Leo off of this Queen of Wands here. This is the... Woman who is a part of this karmic couple. Her and this king of wands think they some type of divine power couple out here. They think they the shit now. Clarify, Holy Spirit. They think they got so much power and influence that they can be this in people's lives. That they can be the judge and jury in a motherfucker life. And they think they the judge and jury in this Nine of Pentacles life because she rejected them. Okay? So they think they finna give her a reckoning. They gonna show her how she should have taken their offer to celebrate with them. These people crazy now. These people ain't got it all. I promise you that. Clarify Holy Spirit. They do not have it all. The magician. Because they be playing around in that magic. These people are so obsessed with this nine of pentacles. They are so upset. They are obsessed and upset. They are obsessed with her. They're upset that she don't want to play this game with them. And she don't want to be their sacrifice. And these people have been doing magic on this woman. Okay. Taking action against this, this empress. Because she is holding out for her divine masculine, okay? She thought this king of wands was her divine masculine at one point. But he wanted to be the divine counterpart to this other woman. So this woman is waiting on good news from her divine masculine. She is not going to settle for anything these people have to offer. That's just period, okay? She is not trying to be 
No third party side piece to these karmic ass people. And they pissed about it. And they, they be riding by her house at night and the day. Somebody got a white SUV, a Lexus SUV, okay? This Leo got a white SUV. I'm here. She be driving. This masculine be riding with her. He don't even really be... The masculine I'm picking up don't want to do this shit no more. Initially, he was down for, with this Queen of Wands to cause conflict for this divine feminine here. But he getting tired of that shit because it's lame. It don't make sense. This man had a level of divinity, divinity to him that is screaming out at him that you wrong. You're wrong for trying to cause conflict and drama for your divine feminine. Your twin flame, you wrong for sending this energy towards her, constantly surveillancing her somehow. Like the universe has been telling this King of Wands that he wrong for participating in this shit here. That it's, it's sickening. Yeah, they, they sick. How are you this upset because you couldn't sacrifice this woman? Like for real? Some they they mind ain't right over here, okay? On this table, these energies, they mind ain't right. And I'm telling you, this King of Wands mind been talking to him. Like, man, you know you wrong for for teaming up with this Leo against this divine feminine, Eight of Pentacles. You know you wrong for teaming up and working with this Queen of Wands against your divine feminine. This is a Leo. I'm just looking at how that lion is looking at me and that damn cat. Okay, these people definitely mess around in spell work. That's why that shit ain't going nowhere, though, because he wrong for trying to invest any energy in, into hurting his divine feminine. And he not getting the results that he wanted. They both ain't. Whatever these turning points are that they was trying to cause for this woman's life, to break her down, to make her succumb to what they want her to do. They've been energetically trying to break this woman down so that she can break down and be feeling so bad, so low vibrational that she will agree to be a third party to this karmic couple. Okay? That's their plan. They hoping that they could break her down so that she will reconnect with this masculine and be willing to be a third party to this karmic couple. Okay? That's what they that's what they were hoping. That's what they've been going for all this time. But again, it's not working out like that. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Death, it ain't working out like that. It's not. And it's almost as if the more that this karmic couple tries to do against this divine feminine to make her road hard in life, to break her down somehow, somehow these people going to get broke down. They already in the five of pentacles. Clarify, Holy Spirit. What's going to happen to this karmic couple if they keep messing with this divine feminine? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Justice. It's really given police. It's really given that somebody is already on this karmic couple's tail because they've done too much in an attempt to harm this woman. You know, this is this is that type of energy that will go to court and make false statements, 1414 against somebody because they mad because they can't do something else underhanded to this individual. These people have done something on the physical realm against this divine feminine as well that they about to get caught up for. That's what I'm hearing here. Okay? They keep bothering this woman. They keep playing in her energy. They keep stalking her. They keep riding by her home. And I'm telling you, this Leo here, this Leo got a white SUV. And I heard Lexus SUV specifically. Okay? And they be riding by this woman's house 
throwing, I, mean, I literally heard throwing magic at her house. These people crazy. I wouldn't have swung with them neither. I damn sure wouldn't have been in no threesome with these motherfuckers. They crazy. And I'm telling you, they belong to some sort of hierophant group that they needed to have them a little flunky that they could fuck and pull from so they could have the energy to be a part of this organization. Page of, Sw of Swords. I'm telling y'all, somebody watching this karmic couple harass this empress, and it's not going to continue to go on for long. So if you've had a karmic couple that has been bothering you, hounding you because you didn't want to be the third party to the masculine who you used to date, he upset because he went off and was with went and teamed up with a crazy, and he still wanted to be able to take advantage of you, and you weren't with it. So now these people have lost their mind behind you. This karmic couple has lost their mind behind this divine feminine, and somebody else know about it. The justice system know about it. Okay, that's who know about it. Eight of Swords, and I'm telling you, these three people finna go to jail. This karmic couple is finna go to jail. They've done too much against and towards this divine feminine. Justice Page of Swords with the Eight of Swords, it's finna be, oh, look, let me show you how it came out now, okay? And I'm seeing it now. They going, this finna be over. This why this is, this why I'm up right now doing a reading on it. Because it's about to be over with. These people may have probably tried to do something tonight and went to damn jail. We got the Two of Cups, Death, Justice, Page of Swords with the Eight of Swords. This Karmic Couples, Bonnie and Clyde energy, that shit over with with this Death card here. This partnership that they were in, running around causing havoc for this Divine Feminine. The police know about it. The justice system know about it. And I'm, it's really given that somebody got locked up here. Okay? 1717. I just heard you may not hear about it because where this divine feminine is at is not where these people reside. This Leo here. This Leo finna get locked up, y'all. It may... Look, I did pick up something where this King of Wands was like... He was tired of riding around with this Queen of Wands, stalking this Divine Feminine. Like, they be following her around sometimes. I just heard following her people around. They be riding by her house. This King of Wands was tired of that stalking, crazy, obsessed shit. I was picking up on it, okay? The universe was starting to knock him upside his head about the shit he was doing against his twin flame. So he may not have been participating with this Queen of Wands as of late, but she's still been out here doing this shit, even if he wasn't with her. And I think she got in trouble, okay? Whatever this last thing was she tried to do tonight, I'm here, because the strength card is falling right up under the moon. Either she did it last night or she did it tonight. She got locked up for it, but again... She ain't going to be in your local jail report because whoever this empress is, these people had to travel to get to her. Okay? So that's even more crazy and deranged that you are traveling, getting in your car and riding a significant distance to go and cause drama. Five of Wands energy for somebody. That's even more asinine. And I'm telling you, this Queen of Wands, Leo energy, got in her car, in her chariot, and went out here and tried to do something to this divine feminine and went to jail for it. Okay? It's out here. Nine of Cups. You ain't gonna hear about this, but baby, just know, if you this divine feminine and this karmic couple has been terrorizing you, you should be sitting somewhere like this with your arms folded in front when you hear this reading. Because this karmic feminine of your karmic masculine, her ass went to jail. If you ever wanted to know if this woman was going to receive her persecution, her penance for trying to antagonize and hurt you, just know she got hers. 
because I've been picking up on this Leo lately, and I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all. This Leo is a, is that Cancer I be picking up on. She trying to pop out as a Leo, okay? That's what I'm hearing. She been trying to pop out as a Leo to disguise herself so that people wouldn't know that she is still spiritually spying this Cancer here. That's why this chariot came out behind the strength. And that's why this moon came out. This strength came out below this moon. Because she a Cancer too. She's just trying to show up in the spiritual realm as a Leo now. So people won't be on to her ass. Because people know this karmic feminine as a Cancer. But her ass then got moved on to karma waters. I just saw the Six of Swords. I'm telling you, if you if this if you was had a cancer, Leo energy, who kept fucking with you about a man, about a karmic ex lover you was dealing with, that hoe in the ten of swords right now, okay? She in the ten of swords, the eight of swords and the ten of swords, twenty one twelve, cause whatever she just got in her car to come do to you, I'm telling you, this woman got a white SUV. I know that look grayish looking, but she got a white SUV. I'm picking up on a white S Lexus SUV. And y'all know I don't even call out cars. Rarely do I call out specific details like that unless I hear them. So if I'm calling out a specific detail, that shit is in alignment with this right here. I'm telling you right now, this Leo ho got a white SUV. It might not be a Lexus, but it's a white SUV. I know that much, and that hoe got pulled over in that white SUV, okay? And that hoe went to jail, and it's a indirect result of her trying to fuck with this divine feminine on various occasions, riding by her home, stalking her. And I'm telling you, these two people used to do it together, but this last incident, this Queen of Wands was alone. She was alone. Ten of Cups. You gonna hear about this divine feminine. If you this divine feminine who's been being terrorized by this karmic couple for years, I'm hearing, for years, these people have been trying to get this divine feminine because she didn't want to be their little swinging couple sacrifice. Because she didn't want to be in this Ace of Wands energy with them. But now this woman is about to have a new start again. Because she, again, she's been in this karmic cycle with these people for years. Because she rejected them. She's about to have a victory, though. This woman about to be in the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Wands, with the Six of Wands. Her future is looking bright. She's She's been able to triumph. Finally, over this karmic couple here. I feel like this karmic couple about to go into hiding. Because see, this Leo then got arrested here. Baby, I wish I knew where this Divine Feminine was at. Because if I knew where she was at, I would tell you exactly which city and state to Google to figure out who got arrested. Because I'm telling you, wherever you are, you know who this Leo is. You know who this Leo Cancer energy is. She is the karmic partner to your karmic ex. Somebody at one point that you thought was your twin flame. But he wasn't your twin flame. You thought he was. I want to clarify that. Le Ooh, God. You thought he was your twin flame. But now you about to go have victory. Have a victory with your true twin flame. Your true emperor that you came out with. Back to back a few minutes ago, okay? This is not no twin flame that's then fell from grace. This ain't nobody like this. This is a karmic soulmate, okay? Who you need to learn a lesson about. And the lesson that you've learned about these two folks is you don't need to ever be no third party to no couple. You don't never need to be the woman they call on when they want to do a threesome, 2442. Okay, and I feel like whoever this divine feminine was, she learned this lesson way before. No, 
she, yeah, she learned this lesson way before she actually stepped into her divine femininity. She was already embodying this nine of pentacles energy. But when this woman gave up on this partnership with this king of wands, that's when she evolved, truly evolved. So it's like the more that they were coming at her, the more her soul, spirit, her mind, her body was rejecting them because she was getting on her rightful path, which led her to her true divine masculine, okay? So she ain't gonna have to worry about this Leo cancer hoe no more. This queen of swords, this woman energy keep coming out. She, she a shapeshifter. She a trickster spirit. Whoever this Leo cancer is, I'm sick of this hoe. She comes out as a queen of wands and a queen of swords. She been coming out in all these readings. But I really feel like it's because she thinks she's slick and God just is going to continue to expose her until she gets the message that your ass cannot hide. Okay, ho? You can't hide. Look, came out as a queen of swords, Leo energy again. You cannot hide. The truth about this woman has been illuminated. This woman has been exposed. People see this woman for who she is. They about to, because I did say you ain't going to hear about her being arrested because she was off somewhere from the community that her and this King of Wands come from. But I just heard people going to find out the truth. Somebody going to find out the truth about what happened to this Pete, this karmic couple, this Queen of Swords, Leo energy specifically. This King of Swords has probably had to go bail her ass out. Clarify this King of Swords energy. This King of Swords. Clarify, please, and thank you. The world. This King of Swords had to go get this Leo Queen of Swords out of jail. This King of Swords is not this King of Wands. We finna get another deck. That's what I just heard. This King of Swords is somebody else that this Leo is in cahoots with. And that's who came and got her out of jail. Because I'm telling y'all, this masculine, he ain't been riding around with her as of late. He used to ride around with her all the time. These people have even followed this woman. And this woman felt like somebody was following her. Okay? That's what I'm hearing now. They, they, these people have been on this woman tail for years. At one point, y'all, look at this stack right here. Now, look what's on the top of this stack, Leo. I'm telling you, this Leo cancer energy is very heavy. And she's a shapeshifter. She's a trickster spirit. She's starting to show up as a Leo queen of swords. Because, again, she noticed her cover been blown as this cancer energy in tarot land. Okay? All she doing is, is emphasizing prominent placements in her chart to disguise herself. As this Leo Queen of Swords, she could have Gemini in her chart, I just heard. But a King of Swords came and bailed her out, not this King of Wands. So who is this King of Swords to this Leo Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Who is this King of Swords? Another partner in crime, her newest partner in crime, because this King of Wands ain't a, ain't a willing participant like he used to be. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. We have the Nine of Swords. This King of Swords is somebody that this Queen of Swords has partnered with. This King of Wands may not know about him. This King of Swords is somebody that this Queen of Swords has used to also gang stalk and antagonize this Divine Feminine. Okay? That's what I'm hearing here. This Hitman vibe energy I'm picking up. Two of Wands. I can't make it up. Somebody that she employed to possibly cause some sort of Ten of Swords in an ending for this Divine Feminine at one point because her and this King of Wands couldn't get her. Okay? 
Knight of Wands with the Six of Swords. He was supposed to do something bold and erratic to this Divine Feminine to get her to move on for good. Okay? But I'm, I'm really picking up he couldn't pull it off. He couldn't pull it off. This man is in the Nine of Swords. He couldn't pull it off. Something was revealed to him about this Empress. The sun is back out here again. And he could not pull off this job. Okay? That's what I'm hearing, y'all. He could not do whatever he was supposed to do to this Divine Feminine. But he's still in cahoots with this Queen of Swords. And that's who, look, can, ass just coming out as I'm talking about her. And that's who can went and bailed her ass out of jail. And she do got Gemini somewhere prominently in her chart. Some, this Leo energy and Gemini and Cancer. Woo child, the Holy Spirit exposing this Cancer once again. This Cancer done went to jail for fucking with this Divine Feminine repeatedly. Her ass got caught up, pulled over possibly. And this King of Swords had to go bail her out. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, he had, to, he had to spend a pretty penny, 31 13 He had to spend a lot of money to get this hoe out of jail, too. Because whatever she got arrested for, it wasn't no PR bond bullshit that she could sign herself out for, okay? Or that nobody else could sign her out for. This man had to pay a bond. This woman got arrested. The judge wasn't trying to hear that shit, okay? She got a bond. That this King of Swords had to go pay in order to get her ass out of jail. Oh well. So just know if you if this cancer hoe been on your ass for however long and you tired of her ass fucking with you about this goddamn King of Wands motherfucker, her ass out here again. Her ass went to fucking jail. She went to jail. And this King of Swords, he could be an Aquarius. He had to bail her ass out. He took a loss. He, he lost a whole Ace of Pentacles going to get this hoe out of jail. King of Pentacles right behind that. Nine of Cups in reverse in the deck right behind that. Okay. He took a financial hit. Possibly some of the money that, sh that she was paying him. To do this dirty work against this divine feminine, he had to had to take all that money. I'm hearing to bail her out of jail. Cause this King of Wands wasn't gonna come do it. Clarify. He I'm telling you, as of late, this King of Wands been falling off with that harassing bullshit. Cause he he feeling some type of way about this divine feminine. He wondering, what is this really my twin flame? Did we really have a divine connection because he ain't believe that shit. And I'm telling you, he ain't. He was a karmic soulmate. He was somebody that was supposed to do exactly what he did to her. Six of Pentacles her and five of Cups her so that she could end up celebrating and marrying the person that she was supposed to be with. And that's this emperor who came out next to her in the other deck, okay? Well... The Holy Spirit then spilled somebody tea and crumpets tonight. And it was 33-33 when I said that. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Mm -mm. Leave people alone. The devil. Because the devil then left this Leo alone. The devil ain't fucking with this Leo. The, the devil jumped in that Leo. Made her think she could challenge this empress. Okay. And that's where she fucked up at. Because, see, the devil, the devil done jumped out this Leo. And she ain't got nothing around her to help shield her from all the crap that she sent out to the universe when the devil jumped in her vessel. Okay? So now her ass is having to face the consequences of her actions all by her lonely. Because the devil ain't getting nothing out of her. She can't get this divine feminine. What the fuck he gonna keep trying to support her ass for? Every time she go and fuck with this divine feminine, this where she her shit just get better and better. Every time she thinks she rocking this divine feminine shit, this divine feminine levels up again in, in response, okay? So, you know, 
at some point, the shit gets old. At some point, this shit gets old. Doing shit in the dark, thinking it's not going to come to light. And I'm telling you, this woman that went to jail, two of swords, whatever she was trying to do tonight against this divine feminine got her, her ass locked up here. That shit over with. And I'm telling you, she had to call this, this King of Swords Aquarius energy some hitman flunky she been working with against this divine feminine because this King of Wands wasn't coming to get her ass. He wasn't coming to get her. He probably didn't tell her she need to leave this woman alone. Like, damn, we've been trying to get her to fuck with us for years. We've been trying to stop her in her tracks for years. It's about time for us to balance this thing on out. It's, a, it's time for us to just chill, you know, call it call it a day with this, this temperance energy here. She didn't want to listen. She continued to take action against this woman. And now this whole in the three of swords. And the Holy Spirit says, that's the truth. Okay. And I'm dropping it. Magician up under the devil. That's exactly what she kept doing. And I'm telling you, this King of Wands told her ass to stop it. He told her, you know, we doing too much. It's, it's time to just let it go. We've been doing this shit for years now. Where has it gotten us? In the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands? I'm tired of fucking with her. We can find somebody else to harvest energy from. That's what he been trying to tell this Queen of Wands now. But she ain't want to listen. So, oh well. I digress. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.